Fatma. I have uh, two doubts. The first one, uh, mantra eight, uh, Bhashyam second line, Aling, Alingaha lingyate gamyate yena tanlingaha uh, tanlingam buddhya, buddhyadi. And uh, the sec uh, this is the first part and the second part is uh, after the comma. So in the first part, Shankara is giving the meaning of a linga by defining linga. So that by which we uh, you understand something, the attributes. Buddhi it uh, adi. So so, so one second. Uh, right, right. So yena, you have to put a semicolon after yena. So the definition of lingam completes with yena. Okay. Next he is defining al alingam. Everything else belongs to all. Now it makes sense. Okay. I, I grouped this as one. Okay. Now it because I was going to ask you how is he talking about buddhi as a lingam and then in the second half he's negating that also as a lingam, right? Correct. So and, you can in right? fact you can right. put buddhi, you can put buddhiadi as uh lingaha, lingate, gamete, yena, buddhiadi. You can even say that. But anyway, the semicolon you put after yena, then everything else defines alinga. Okay, okay. That the lingam, <laughs> that the lingam within brackets buddhi Okay, yes. That yes. lingam. Okay. Now lingam should mean anything other than atma. In the case of the body, it is buddhi Say that again with uh, Ajay uh, No, I lost you there. Okay. The basic sentence definition of Alingam is what? Lingam avidyamanam yasya iti. Okay. You, you may want to underline that. All the other words can be confusing. Lingam. Linga. First word is Lingam. Second word yeah. is avidyamanam. Avidyamanam. Lingam avidyamanam yasya iti. Yes, okay. So that is the definition of alingam. Everything else is added to embellish the meanings of the words. Okay. So that yes, yes, that which does not have lingam is called alingam. Avidyamanam is yes, not, not does not exist does not exist so That's, what is the buddhi adi then buddhi adi is within brackets for lingam lingam means buddhi adi okay that's why i said ling buddhi adi if you want you can put after a now in the previous defi definition, you can put it. Okay. Correct? Yeah. So, um, okay. So, there is, uh, in the second uh, half, uh, it is that lingam which does not exist, right? No, no, no. That which does not have lingam Ah, okay, okay. That, because now we're referring to Atma, a lingam. A lingam is that which does not have lingam. Mm. And what is lingam? We saw earlier that which indicates the one you really want to go after is called lingam. What if one is pointing to the other, other is pointing to you. It's like somebody saying, I am, I am her husband. And this guy said, I am his wife. Something like that. So each is pointing to that. Lingam is pointing to Alingam. Alingam is pointing to Lingam. In the definition. So, I hope you're so following. Alingam that. is Buddhi. Buddhi is a Lingam. Buddhi is... Correct. Correct. 
That means Atma has really nothing to do with Buddha Adi Tirpaha. Correct. Yeah, good. Even though Atma sustains everything, the entire universe is sustained mm -hmm. by Atma, but it's Asangaha. Asangaha. Mm -hmm. What is Lingam? Clay is a Lingam. Mm -hmm. In this example, in this limited example, clay is a Lingam. Mm -hmm. Clay doesn't care what you want, what any part if you want. <clears throat> but I am manifest mm -hmm. by your partness. Mm -hmm. But let part be there. What is lingam? Mm -hmm. Clay is a lingam. Because clay has no attributes. I mean, in this example, we should take clay as having no attributes. Mm -hmm. Especially form. Form it doesn't have. Right. No attributes are there for like a lingam. Then you are done. So a lot of other words are said. Tat, saha, ayam, all this, mm -hmm. this, these other words mm -hmm. sometimes. But the main definition, if you look at it, it's it's straightforward. Lingam yeah. avidya manam yasya. That's the way. Mm. Like ashari, ashari, yeah. ashari, yeah. If you say what we saw that word, ashadham asparsham arupam avyayam. What is ashadham? Shabdam or shabdaha avidya manaha yasya saha ashadaha or ashadham. That it does not have sound. Does not have the attribute of sound. It's called Atma. It's called Alingam here. Lingam refers to everything. There, Ashabdam only refers to Shabdam. Sparsham, Rupam, Gandham, etc. I have a second doubt. Um, so the Vyapakaha, right? Um, so Akasha is given as an example of Vyapakaha, which is all pervasive. But Purusha is, you said, is the cause of Akasha. So the Vyapakaha here is different from the Akasha Vyapakaha, right? But Beyond cause and effect is Atma, right? Correct. Correct. So Purusha, Purusha and Atma. So there's the definition here for Purusha is Vyapakaha. He cause, right? Vyapaka is not cause. Vyapakaha means all pervasive. Sarve Vyapaka. Okay. All pervasive. Vyapakaha. And he's saying, he's just saying, there is, because Vyapakasya api Akasha de. He's saying Akasha also is Vyapaka. Atma also is Vyapaka. But it's a different kind of pervasion. Kind means what? One is the cause, one is the effect. One is the cause, one is the effect. Yeah. You can call both as one is right. one, one is all pervasive anatma, other is all pervasive atma. Right, right. Anatma can also be all pervasive. Right. Yeah. The universe, is all, the universe is all pervasive. Jagat is all pervasive. Jagat is everything that is there is Jagat. Did you also say that the all pervasiveness of Purusha is what is um, attributed to Akasha as well? It's the all per pervasiveness of Purusha or Akasha comes from all pervasiveness of Purusha, right? So, okay, Akasha. so correct. So that's correct. That's correct. Like universe. Universe is all pervasive. Everything is, the word universe is used for everything that is that. Everything that is there. But there's a big difference between the all-pervasiveness of universe and all-pervasiveness of Brahma or Atma. What is the difference? The difference is one is a cause, the other is an effect. The effect can disappear. The effect can become unmanifest. Cause will always be there. But isn't Atma 
beyond cause and effect. It is beyond cause and effect, yes. Right, but we are sticking with Purusha being the cause, Karana, right? Correct. When, so, you look at that, correct. when you look at the Jagat as an effect, then you have to ask, tell me what the cause is. And that cause is Atma. But Atma cannot create, really speaking. So with Maya, Atma creates. You take Maya out, then it is Karana Karya Vilakshanam. It is other than cause and effect. Other than cause and effect. Yes. Correct. Okay, so for now, for this understanding purpose, we just take it as cause, but keeping in mind that Atma is beyond cause. Karya Karana. Um, correct. So that is the that is the here and there, right? One time ago you asked me, we are here sometimes, we are there sometimes. That's how it is. That's how it is. Oh, somebody says the snake is real. I am afraid of the snake. No, I will not go there. No, no, I'll show you. It's, there's really no snake, you say. No, 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 there is a snake. I won't go there. Then what do you do? Okay, fine. I'll wait for a good time. That's all you can say. You can throw up your hands. So, accept there is a snake. Okay, okay. I understand. There is a snake. You have to pacify the person. Yes, there is a snake. I'll tell you how the snake came about and slowly somehow coax the person and make the person see that there is really no snake. So you have to accept that. The Karana Karya is accepted. So that is called what? It's called Adhyaropa Apavada. Adhyaropa means accepting cause of effect as, as real. And then Apavada. And then finally you show that this is Mithya also. Cause and effect is Mithya. Satyam is Karya Karana Vilakshanam. Good, good observation. Dhanyavada. Yeah, Hari Ji, go ahead. Hari Om. Guruji, can we say the space when we are talking about Vyapaka, space is effect and Atman is the causeless cause? It doesn't have a cause. Yeah, of course you can say that. You can say that. The respect to Akasha, it is the cause. Yeah. But for itself, it doesn't have any cause. Correct. It is anadi. It is a causeless cause. Correct. It has no karan. Because it is not effect. It's not karyam. If it is karyam, it becomes mitya. Yeah, finite. Yeah. I, I have got one more uh, uh, doubt. When we were talking about uh, mind and intellect, uh, we were saying that the intellect is uh, subtler than the mind. Can the uh, reason for that is the mind can travel only to the known realm or known region where we have got previous experience, whereas intellect can travel even to the unknown realm? No, no. <clears throat> we don't. Shastram doesn't separate manaha and buddhi in that manner. Ah, okay. Sankalpa vikalpatmikam manaha. Go back to the definition. Nishayatmika buddhi. That's it. Go back to the definition. We cannot impute our own ideas into all these things. Sankalpa vikalpatmikam means what? Is it known or unknown? I just say, is it known or unknown? No, no, no. I know it. Are you sure you know it? Mana says. And Buddhi says, uh, yeah, I know it. Are you absolutely sure you know it? Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. I so, Mana is just creating doubts. That's the doubting aspect is given, is attributed to Manaha. He is, yeah, that's all. So, known unknown business, we don't, 
The buddhi cannot go to the unknown anyway, right? How can the buddhi go to the unknown? Please tell me. You, you only said unknown. So how suddenly buddhi can go to the unknown? I am grasping an unknown, unknown object, I can say. But the object is known. If I say I'm, I'm, I, I have an unknown object in my hand, Hey, the, 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 I have an unknown object in my hand. Okay, suppose I show you this. How many of you know what this is? See, many of you are doubting because you are still not sure what I'm holding. If I had showed you, if I had showed you this, immediately everybody will tell what this is. Okay, immediately you tell. Now I sh I showed you this, and then now you don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But I know it's an object. But you know I'm holding an object. So that much knownness is there. But I don't know what that object is there. That unknownness you can figure out slowly. But we can figure out. Okay. But a totally unknown object, Buddha also and Manas both are helpless. Yes or no? Hariji? Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, still, um, the buddhi, the buddhi has the, the um, power to e even uh, to make us to travel to the unknown region. You know, that buddhi only is uh, guiding me or uh, tempting me to go to the unknown region or to discover an unknown object. Whereas the manas doesn't do it. It's okay. You're talking about nishayatmika buddhi. Ah, okay. What okay. you're talking Okay. Okay. See the, see, the manas is always there where the buddhi is. It is not that the manas is blinded. Buddhi says, no, no, don't look at me. Uh, wait, I'm thinking, I'm making some decisions. Don't look at me. There's no such thing like that. Okay. Okay. It's not like Manas is this in this room and the Buddha is in that room and doesn't know what Manas is doing. Manas doesn't know what Buddha is doing. It's not like that. Okay. Okay. If it were like that, then what you said is correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Think about it. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyway, this subject, this, since I showed the Yes or no? Okay, some of you are raising hands. Tab stand. It's where I put my tab. That's what I'm looking at. Because <clears throat> my notes are all on the computer. So, good. So sometimes I know it, but I don't know what it is. I know there is something, but I don't know. So that's a uh, often. So that's how our our uh, discovery starts. You know, we start our life knowing nothing, knowing absolutely nothing, except a few objects, apple, this, that, and all food items, little bit. But you go to school, the child goes to school that knows nothing. What am I going? Why am I coming here? That's why it's crying constantly. Uh, until it, it enjoys friendship. Some friends are there. I can play. Uh, all that joy. Some joyful things must be there. The other day, one girl, small girl came. She said, UKG or UKG? I asked her, do you like to go to school? Said, yeah, I like to go. So last year, I asked her. She did not like at all. Now she likes. So, what are you learning? And some rhymes and all. She goes to this place called Bharati Vidya Bhavan. And so there they are teaching some Achinya mission. That's a school ship. So she's chanting some shlokas and all. So I do dance and all. I, Can I dance? She said, yes, please dance. I want to see. I don't know how to dance. You should teach me how to dance. So she, she, was, she was teaching me. So it is good. So the child goes knowing nothing. And then based on what the child knows, you have to, the teacher has to take it further and further. It's magic. It's just magic, I tell you. That how learning happens is just magic. Magic. If you look at it logically, it won't work. 
You can't prove that learning can happen. Try proving it. Because from the unknown, you are going to the known. That's that, that boundary you are crossing. The buddhi can't handle it. The teacher has to make all the, you know, that setup that like you have, you know, yeah, the studio setup has to be done. And for the buddhi to grasp some the unknown. Otherwise, you can't. Even basics I'm talking. One, you want to teach the child one means what? Two means what? Three means what? How are you going to teach this? It's just magic. That's why Saraswati, we understand so much about knowledge. We worship Saraswati. We don't take jnana for granted at all. Simple things also we should not take for granted. Hariji, so it won't work. Hariji is gone, huh? Okay. So, any other questions? Jai Kumarji, yes, we talked about this, you know, uh, uh, Hariji's question about this buddhi and manas. I thought we'll you know, a long time ago, we learned that it is a, because buddhi is a decision-making faculty and manas is a evaluation of various options. So it's like it comes up with various options and buddhi makes a decision. I choose that. It, it, I thought that is the kind of relationship between manas, how they are correct. Yes, that's the... somewhat a distinction, distinctive roles, so to speak. Correct. Yes. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. No history. So, because uh, 10 options we may evaluate, and then we'll say these are three viable, and then we think it is viable, and then Buddhi has to make a decision. Or through Buddhi, we make a decision. I go with option two, one, or whatever. So the roles are a little bit different. It's like uh, uh, workers give it various options due to the boss and boss makes a decision. So in that relationship, Buddha is a boss. So. <laughs> right. So I think his question was a little different. What was his question? No, but he's talking about, he was talking about uh, how can a Buddha go to unknown? I don't know. I mean, if, if buddhi cannot go to unknown, if manas doesn't know, that option is not given. <laughs> so, it's, it's not like there are two different, uh, totally different entities that yeah. one doesn't know what the other is doing. It's not like that. Yeah, because the, unless mother, manas gets something, if the, in other words, manas gives four options, buddhi is not going to come up with a and make a decision on the fifth option. At least that's the way I understood. Yeah, so we sh it's 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 the, the, the faculty of see, there is only one part brain. And uh, if the, if some doctor comes and tells me that you know there is this part of the brain which is all the optionality, the manas, and then this part of the brain deciding, I, it'd be interesting. I like to know that such a thing exists. They, I mean, they do. They do talk about left sided, like right side. Uh, yeah, left that is thing. a that is more of a art, science, and things. Yeah, like art, that. science, and all that is there. But, uh, but uh, I don't think medical science talks about manas. <laughs> I don't. Think so. I mean, unless a psychiatric or something, they may say, but not uh, not from a so I think brain's yeah, yeah. perspective. Yeah, I think that question got answered, which is that. Which is that we have to stick with the definition of manas and buddhi. No, even, even, I'm saying even from our practical thing, you cannot go to an unknown assuming, even though we are all doing that, we cannot, I mean, there's not, once we evaluate and come on, I look at the option and come up with a shortlist few things, there is nothing like unknown, right? Whatever was unknown, we, if it was known, we would have Assess that that option or path, right? Yeah, 
Dạ. So basically what I'm saying is both of them work hand in glove. Yeah, exactly. They're together. Yeah, it's not like uh, something goes somewhere in the I mean, maybe maybe that's all the people who are mentally disturbed. I don't know. Even then it works in car tandem, I think. So I don't know. So yeah. Good. Any other questions? No, no. We'll pause with that. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धन्वंतरय अमृत कलश हस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नमः